It's Thursday, the 9th of January, 2020, and evidence is beginning to pour in that what brought down the 737 Ukrainian Airlines aircraft in Tehran, Iran, was in fact a surface-to-air missile attack. The evidence that's being collected is satellite data indicating a launch, additional video data, and information being picked up from the crash site itself. The weapon investigators are suspecting was used in this attack is the TOR M1 radar-guided surface-to-air missile system. This is a mobile missile system, radar-guided, uh, purchased through Russia or developed and built in Russia. Each of these trucks have the capability of carrying four of these missiles and track, launching them and tracking them simultaneously. Evidence is coming in that there were two missile. Uh, it was a two-missile volley launched at the aircraft and that this missile battery was, was located right near the departure path, or right under the departure path of this aircraft. So let's go inside and take a closer look at the Tor M1 missile system and its capabilities and limitations. While all this still needs to be verified, this is the only real scenario that's beginning to make any sense in this tragic accident. According to Wikipedia and Jane's Air Defense, Iran has 29 TOR missile defense systems. TOR, or TOP in Russian, also goes by the NATO designation of SA, or Surface to Air, SA-15 Gauntlet. This system is specifically designed for low altitude, short range, quick response air defense. Each tracked vehicle is capable of carrying four of the 9M330 series missiles with the following specs. Each missile is about 10 feet long, 368 pounds, carries a 33 pound warhead full of shrapnel or rod, steel rods. Each missile has a peak speed of around 2.8 Mach, extremely fast and a 30G, 30G turning capability. It can turn extremely quickly. And the solid propellant rocket motor gives it a range of about 7 miles and or 20,000 feet of altitude. The forward canard fins provide pitch and roll of the missile, and there's also a dynamic jet system which helps translate the missile from vertical launch to horizontal flight. Behind the forward canard fins is the 35-pound warhead, which I believe is a set of steel rods or steel bow tie shaped shrapnel. The warhead is detonated by a proximity fuse located in the nose of the missile, so the missile doesn't have to actually hit its target. It merely gets close enough to the target to burst a ring or starburst of shrapnel and bring down the target. The rest of the missile consists of a solid propellant rocket motor. Here's an example of how quick one of these missiles can be deployed. Again, these are only examples. The phased array acquisition radar is the antenna spinning on top of the vehicle. The engagement radar is the flat plate in front of the turret. These are examples of the more advanced M2 TOR system whereas it's believed Iran has the M1 earlier model system. This photograph here is making the rounds on the internet and has yet to be determined if it's a valid picture, if it's actually at the site of the 737 Ukrainian Airlines crash site in Iran. However, it's not uncommon to find these nose cones and canard fins separated from the exploded warhead behind it. Here's what the complete missile looks like outside of its canister. 
So again, all of this still needs to be verified, but the evidence is pouring in very fast. And this all appears to be a very accidental shoot down, what you might call a friendly fire episode, where you have loss of control of your air defense system, command and control of your air de defense system on the ground in Iran. As we get more information, we'll let you know. See you here.